So I've been reading a lot of sci-fi lately and I wanted to talk about it. And the first thing I want to talk about is the three body problem by Tishin Liu or Sun Ti as they would say in China. And it's an incredible series. Um, if you like hard sci-fi, you'll probably love it. Even if you don't like hard sci-fi, you'll probably still love it because it just has all these super interesting, crazy out there um, concepts and ideas he brings in, especially in the third book that are just, whoa, I can't even imagine that happening, but like super interesting. Um, it also has some really cool insights into Chinese culture and history, especially during the Chinese, or excuse me, the cultural revolution. And ultimately the moral of the story is the CCP destroys everything, the end. That's not really the whole thing, but if you think about it, once you read the story, you're like, wow, if the, if the CCP hadn't done all this stuff, then the whole story wouldn't have happened. I won't spoil anything, but um, it was an incredible series. Um, just really cool. I don't want to go too much into the plot because there's a lot of like slow buildup, especially in the first book when it comes to what's actually happening. And if I talk about it more, it'll, I don't want, I still don't want to ruin it for you because I want you to read it. But the characters are very interesting. Some of them play more, like, sometimes the plot does more of the legwork than the characters. Um, actually, a lot of the time the plot does more legwork than the characters, but sometimes the characters' personalities and mo unique motivations really shine through and present some challenges for the story. Um, <laughs> yeah, you could say that again. For example, in the second book, Luo Ji, at least I think that's how you say it. I don't know the tones, so I'm sorry if I get the tones wrong, but um, Luo Ji does is one of you could say a reluctant hero but by the end of the story he really comes through and it's just oh my gosh it's the best like twist ever and then in the third book um chung shin bless her heart that's all i have to say bless her heart she really tries to do the right thing and it just ugh, man when you try to do the right thing and it just blows up in your face she does that to like an astronomical level and i'm not kidding um, and in the first book, the main character's name is Wang Miao, and, like, he's, he, this is, this is the book where the plot definitely does the legwork as opposed to the character. He's more of just, like, the person that is supposed to help you understand what's going on. Like, he's the fish out of water. He's the fish in the fish out of water scenario, and you're just there to kind of see through his eyes. Or that's, that's his function, and so there's not, like, a whole much, whole bunch to his personality, but... He it does the job of telling you the story and introducing the ultimate problem that humanity has to face. Um, yeah, so that's my review of the Three Body Problem series. Please go read it. I have not read the fourth, like, unofficial. Well, it's, like, been endorsed by the author, Sitchin Leo, but it's not written by him. It's I think it started out as a fa fan fiction and went from there, which is, like, it's publishing, like, part of the series technically, but... Um, not fully, if you know what I mean. Um, I'll probably read it at some point, but um, I'm just talking about the main three books for now. So yeah, check out The Three-Body Problem by Sishin Leo. It's really cool.